On our last trip to Morro Bay, California, me and Nick caught some beautiful vermilion rockfish. Check it out. Already? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm bit. Oh my God. Double biter. I'm bit. As soon as I get to the bottom. Come on. Ah. That's not a little guy. Never mind. Dude, that's not a little guy at all. Dude, look at him. Look at him, bro. <laughs> oh my Healthy boy. They're huge, dude. They're huge. Oh, yeah. Today, I'm going to show you all my favorite recipe for cooking these vermilion red rockfish. It's a crispy fish cake sandwich topped with homemade coleslaw, homemade pickled cucumbers, and homemade pickled onions. If you all are interested in how I made these pickled cucumbers and pickled onions, Leave it in the comments below and I'll make a separate video on how you can make pickles. Next, you'll cook your fish. Dry your fish using paper towels. Never wash it off with fresh water. Once your fillets are completely dry, remove any excess fat or pin bones from your fillets. We'll be cooking these fillets for approximately 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the size of our fillets. Next, lightly oil a sheet tray with olive oil. Place your clean fillets on the sheet tray, and then add a little bit of oil to the fish themselves. This prevents them from drying out while they bake. No seasonings just yet. We'll add that to the mixture. While your fish is in the oven, this is a good time to grate or finely chop some onions for your patty mixture. After 12 minutes, the fish is ready to come out of the oven. Then place it on the stove top to cool. Once they've rested for about five to 10 minutes, remove them from the sheet tray and add them to a mixing bowl. Use your spatula to break up the fish. Place the bowl in the fridge to cool it a little longer. While your fish is cooling in the fridge, next we're gonna start on our batter. Add 100 grams of regular all-purpose flour and add 100 grams of rice flour and add about a teaspoon of baking powder and add about a tablespoon of honey. This will give it color. Next, add whatever seasonings you like. I'm using sea salt, garlic powder, good old bay. Can't go wrong with these three. Next, add 150 milliliters of vodka and 150 milliliters of beer. Preferably a light beer, like Modelo. Now mix it all together. Remember, if it comes out too runny, add a little extra flour. If it comes out too thick, add a little extra beer until you get a pancake batter consistency. Don't forget to drink any leftover beer. Cheers. <sighs> now that our fish is cooled off, let's start making our patties. We're gonna start by adding Italian breadcrumbs, a half a cup. We're gonna add our seasonings. I keep my seasoning simple. I add Old Bay, garlic salt, and lemon pepper. Seasonings are completely up to you and you can season it however you like. Now let's add our finely grated onions. Let's add a quarter cup of mayo, some mustard, and an egg. Now mix it up. Now that we've mixed it all together, now we can start forming the patties. Next, we're gonna form our patties and place them on a sheet tray with parchment paper. I'm making three and I have 600 grams of mixture. So I'm gonna be making 200 gram patties. Next, stick your formed patties into the freezer for a little bit so that it can firm up before frying. 
While your patties are firming up, heat up a pot of oil. I prefer to use peanut oil, but if you're allergic, you can use vegetable oil, it works just as well. Set it to a medium low flame and prepare a cooling rack for when the patties come out of the oil. And once your oil is hot enough, take a pinch of flour just to check to see how hot it is. If it burns nice and slow and sizzles just like that, oil is hot enough for your patties. Now take your patty that's it's firmed up, gently drop it into your oil facing away from you. When your patty's done cooking, it should float to the top. Once your patty is done frying, place it on the cooling tray and allow it time to cool. Remember, as it rests here on the cooling tray, it'll continue to cook itself on the inside. It's ready to go just like that. However, we're going to batter it and fry it again. While your patties are resting, go ahead and clean out your oil and set your flame to a higher temperature. You want it about medium high, just slightly above what you had it. Then you're gonna prepare your batter, because the next thing we're gonna do is dip these in batter and fry them nice and crispy. We're just frying them long enough for the batter to get nice and golden brown and crispy, and then we're taking them right out of the oil. Now that your oil is hot enough, let's dip the patty in the batter and gently lay it into the hot oil. Remove any bits of patter that didn't stick so they don't get burnt. Look at that, a nice golden brown color. While your patties are resting, let's toast some brioche buns in butter. There's two reasons why we do this. One, because it adds flavor to the buns, and two, because the buns won't get soggy when you add condiments. Now you're gonna melt a piece of butter onto the pan, then you're gonna place your brioche bun on there and soak up all that butter on a nice golden brown crust. There we go, that's beautiful. Now that we have everything ready, it's time to assemble our sandwich. First, we'll start by placing our homemade pickles on the bottom bun. Then we'll add some of our homemade pickled onions. Then we'll place our crispy fish patty right on top and finish it off with our homemade coleslaw. There you have it, our beautiful crispy fish sandwich. Well, it looks fantastic, but the ultimate test, how does it taste? Let's find out. Now oh, that's a crispy sandwich. Woo! Fantastic. If you all like this recipe, hit the subscribe button and we'll notify you the next time we come out with any more recipes. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and have yourself a great day.